Hi everyone, today I'd like to do my current favourites and a couple of disappointments. So my first favourite is my most recent possession and it's something I've lost it after for so long so I'm really happy to have finally landed it and it's long extinct I'm afraid. It's from Style Black and it's the famous Young Punk which is this stunning glittery dark purple and just for the fact of how pretty it looks that justifies having it as a current favourite but I'm actually wearing it, I'm wearing it on top of a uh, grease paint I'm going to be experimenting with it apparently these go on a lot better wet but anyway, definite favourite my next favourite is uh, both the glosses which I got I'm just showing you one and these are from the Liberty of London collection and this one is perennial high style and the other one is um, frankly fresh which is a more beige version of this I really like these because I really like the colour and the fact that the colour actually shows up even without any other lip colour and I also like that they're not too sticky they are quite sticky but just the threshold of stickiness that makes it last but without making it unbearable to wear so really like these and I really adored the packaging but when I see it now it was lying on my cabinet and I just thought to myself if you didn't know better you'd think this belonged to like a six year old sister wouldn't you it's a bit, a bit childish but I still really like it and it's a product that counts. Usually MAC lip glosses are really sticky to me but I have noticed that the Liberty of London ones and the um, Star Warriors one weren't too sticky. The next thing I really like is from Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess collection and this is a bronzing gel and when I saw this it's £24 which is the same as a foundation more or less so I thought at first it might be a bit overpriced but now that I've started using it I can really say it's a summer essential because when you're quite pale and summer hits you just take a little dab of this and number one, the first reason I really like it is that it makes my blusher really stay on and number two, it feels really cooling and lovely on the skin so you just use your fingers and it just really blends in. I just use this as, as a cheek product myself and sometimes along the nose as well. And it just instantly makes you look a lot more bronze but without making the rest of you look really pale. The next thing which I really like is a brush which I always kind of overlooked in my collection but lately I've been reaching for this a lot and it's the MAC 242 it's not new or anything it's really stiff I think it applies better than the 239 but that's just my personal opinion so I've been liking that the next thing which I really like are these really good value £3.50 each nail polishes I'm really happy with them these are my two favourites from the new collection first one is one that everyone's been raving about this is an exact dupe for Chanel Particulier I think it's called which was a sort of, I think they call it a greige really really beautiful grey toned beige and this one's called Posh Nails and this goes on really well only needs one coat, two coats for maximum luxurious feel but really good value and really nice results so if you want to hear more it's over on my blog and this is my other favourite it's black but with tons of red sparkle so really really unusual and this one's called vampire polish really good especially with a high shine top coat on top really good both of those well worth a look from Ioko. And the last thing which I really like is this NYX or NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. 
I always heard everyone talking about this so I knew I really wanted it and I finally managed to get hold of it through a swap and I really like this for putting on the inside corners not the waterline but the actual corners like that really really brightens up the eyes just instantly it's really creamy I wouldn't use it as a base because I'm sure it must crease but you don't need much and it really gives such a fabulous eye opening effect and I've even heard of people using it for under eye circles and I bet it does work well for that because it's so creamy it practically is kind of like an emollient paste almost so highly recommend that. Another thing I've been really loving is this shampoo because I spend quite a lot on my hair, highlights and so on so I do try to use a good shampoo but I recently decided I was going to try a Sally's brand or I don't know if it's their brand or if it's just sold at Sally's but it's called Osmo Essence and this is their colour mission shampoo and it's huge which is really good for me because I hate having to keep on buying shampoo and my hair goes greasy quite quickly so I have to keep washing it so this is really good because obviously this is going to last and this whole thing cost me £11.95 so that's really good for I think it's a litre yeah um, a thousand millilitres um, so anyway, it's really good and the reason why I even tried it was because when my hair was in really bad shape from too much colouring and it was literally breaking off, I used Osmo Essence Intense Deep Repair Mask and this stuff is absolutely amazing. This cost me just about £3 and it's quite a big tub as well, you don't need much and it's a really good protein kind of mask. Um, I don't know if it's actually a protein mask, it feels like one. You just leave it on your hair for about 10 minutes and it really works. So I highly recommend that. It's better than a lot of expensive stuff which I've used. So that was why I decided to give the shampoo a go. And I think it's really good. It's really respected my colour, it hasn't faded it. And it's sulfate and salt free and yet it still foams up. So that's something I haven't really come across before, usually if it's sulfate free it doesn't foam at all but that really does feel like it's cleaning my hair so I really like it. Then on to disappointments. First one will come as no surprise if you've watched my review and it's the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. My one is in shade number two. Looks like this. And I had high hopes for this because I was hoping it would be a really high calibre version of the Benefit Erase Paste but in fact this, I don't think there's that much difference between them and I absolutely loathed Benefit Erase Paste so this has fared a little better so I really don't recommend it and I think it's really expensive for what it is. Um, I know people really love this. I tried making it work but I can't make it work so I've given up, I'm just going to swap it away. And the other thing which I hate to put in my disappointments, still I'm happy with it, but it's, it's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess edition of their blusher. And the reason I'm disappointed is that I didn't notice but every year or rather last year at least, it was 13 grams. This year they've dropped it to 8.6 grams. And also it's really, really powdery. So I'm a bit disappointed. I'd still recommend getting it just for the novelty value. I love last year's one and I still really like this and would continue using it. But um, as I say, I think it's a step down from last year. Another thing which I'm not liking is the MAC grease paints. I got Dirty and I got this one Zinc Zone and Dirty I really didn't like. I just bought it from the website because there was so much hype about it, I thought it was a must have. But when I got it, I thought it was going to be a brown but it was really greyish on me so I didn't like it and I didn't really like the way it applied either. It was kind of different to this one, it was more flaky somehow. This one Zinc Zone, I think it creases and I don't think it's that special. So the only reason I bought these was because of Richie Nichols' review and also because it's called Art Supplies. 
but I wouldn't buy these again. And although I do like this and I won't swap this away, I swapped away my dirty, but I'll keep Zinc Zone, but I wouldn't repurchase. So it's a slight disappointment. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and talk to you all soon.